One of the things you wouldn't necessarily think about paleontology is that you get to know adhesives very well. So different kinds of glues play a really important part in uh, putting dinosaurs back together. So there's all different blends, mixtures of super glues that you may be familiar with that you may use at home, but they actually make thick ones, they make thin ones, they make really thin ones uh, that we use for gluing or consolidating bones. And one of the ones that we use a lot of is a material called Vinac. And it's essentially a plastic that's dissolved in acetone. And of course, when you buy the Vinac, you just buy it as beads, and then you sort of have to make custom make your own mixtures. And usually you'll either use really thin, uh, medium, or sort of thick. So we've consolidated the bone with a lot of the thin Vinac because we want the plastic to soak into the pores of the bone and go deep down into the structure and essentially sort of consolidate and plasticize the bone. Then we'll actually glue parts of the bone back together and what we're using with that is thicker Vinac. So one of the ways that you can tell is a simple, we, they call it a finger test. Uh, it's, it's, it's nothing fancy. So you just put a drop on your finger like that and then you start doing it like this. And that, at the fourth time on that one, it started making these little strings. So by the fourth time, that means that generally this is pretty thick Vinac. Third or fourth is a real thick mixture that's pretty good for using to glue bones. If it had gone to maybe seven, eight, nine, maybe even ten uh, finger pinches, then that would have been uh, good for consolidating bone. So in the case, uh, I'm going to glue the tip back on a neural spine, I actually need a glue. I need something that can kind of bond both surfaces together and sort of fill in a tiny, tiny gap that's there. So I've already consolidated both sides with a very thin mixture where it's soaked down into the pore structure of the bone. And now that that's saturated, I want to go back with the thicker stuff and tack it down. And I don't know that this is actually going to be uh, considered permanent. Uh, and that's another thing that's sort of a challenge in paleontological uh, glues because people say, well, why don't you just use Elmer's white glue? Uh, you could, but the, the trick is when you're doing paleontology that anything you glue, you have to be able to unglue. And Elmer's is one of those things that you can't break the glue down. Vinac is very easy because if you need to dissolve the glue, you simply add acetone and it will melt the plastic or dissolve the plastic back and you can undo whatever you glued. So for instance, I'm tacking this down. This specimen is going to be prepped and put permanently on display. It's glued down with the, the Vinac right now, which may not be the strongest bond, but it'll hold it together while we're prepping the bone. We package the bone and, and get it ready to be shipped off to the mounter. The mounter, once they do that, the bone's going to be put under different kinds of stresses. So they may need a stronger glue, so they may choose to, to re-glue those joints using uh, super glue, some other kind of adhesive that's much stronger and that, that may last longer than, than the Vinac.